Good morning, Geek Ronins. Good morning, Dragons of the Black. It's been a beautiful 14 days off. We're through the winter hump and into beautiful spring. Happy Equinox, everyone. I am Stardust Samurai, your Seder host with the most. Brought to you by Geekly Gaming Network, playing on stream teams, supported by Twitch dads, and loved by all. We are about to get this going on. We're just making sure all of our I's are crossed and our T's are dotted before we start, since it's been a little bit of a bit since we were on the air. We need to make sure all of our stuff is up to date and working good. We'll be live here in 420, winka winka, as we got a day of Automatron, Wasteland, Commonwealth Wandering, here on Fallout 4 with 110 growing mods. I'll be right back.
I have this going on. A little step up there. Let's get the new overlay for the vlog. Uh, there's still a little bit of work being done on this. Um, this will be for uh, tomorrow's bungee event. Big on the screen here. Uh, bungee on the big, me on the small. Um, we also will be using this for, uh, for now, for the Geek Gazzles talk show. Uh, just for now. Oh, there it is. Curly and going all over the place today. Let's uh, put that all under control. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some volume stuff here later. All right, so uh, we're just going to cover a few things right now. Uh, the Week in Geek, uh, welcome back to the show, things like that. As you all know, it's about two years ago this week that I went live for the first time. Um, completely different show. I think I'm pretty pretty 100%. It's still on my YouTube. Um, <laughs> it might not be, but it, it, it should be. Um, I recommend you check it out. Uh, I'm going to go back and watch it, and we actually might air it tomorrow on the show while we're waiting. Uh, it's going to be a lot of PC gaming, some Smite, Loadout, uh, Dark, I believe. I believe my first stream was at night, like late. I was all excited. I didn't know stuff. But the first week I knew was going to be learning as well as tweaking, janky. And uh, I want to thank Prototype Ravine. Uh, you can check her out. She'll be up. We put on our, our, our huge new raid thing we're doing here. Uh, she's my first follower. Um, I was scouting through not only Daisy players, but also the streamers in general, uh, and I come across her, and uh, she was my first person I followed, really, um, top like 10, and non-partnered, and just been there ever since, uh, try to show my love and pop in, um, unfortunately we're both Twitch parents and on different coastlines, so kind of goes <laughs> all over the place. Uh, you can check out, I believe she's on that Xbox, but it could be PS4 or both, but definitely PC streaming. Uh, she's been doing a lot of Tom Clancy's The Division. Uh, definitely go check her out. Uh, and just be respectful and show some love. Hit the YouTube, Twitter, and uh, give some love. She has a very interactive channel, and I actually go to her channel and look for inspiration on some of the what's new um, and stuff like that. I don't believe she's streaming right now, but we may check on that here in a bit. Uh, the Weekend Geek is not going away, folks, but the Weekend Geek is only a Tuesday thing, first day of my Mondays. Um, Geekgasms talk show. Now, this is uh, something we've been working on for a little while. Uh, this talk show is going to be between viewers, streamers, uh, multiple at a time. Like tomorrow for the Bungie event, we'll have a couple streamers. Now, we are going to develop a nicer overlay where we can get video from each person. Um, that's just going to be interacting with each streamer, learning what they use and how they use it, and things like that. Thank you, Scissors. I'm sure my <coughs> razor, razor couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's pretty much what it's going to be. It's going to be Q and A. We're going to have different topics, uh, all different kinds of things. But things I think should be put into the talk show category of Twitch. Uh, we are definitely on the donation grind, like our vlog said yesterday, uh, but only to bring key things back to the show. We're about $20, $25 donation away from finishing and getting back the Mirror 360 program. Now, this allows me to use my tablets uh, on the stream. That only brings music creation back in our music channel. It also brings back up our creative channel and our art, uh, where we were making overlays and buttons for channels and streamers here live on the show. Uh, that was a great week. It was our best week, most views, most most follows. We hit triple digits all week long on that. That we were literally like that close to partnership just from the creative channel. But it was only a demo program. Uh, we were trying to get the money donated, and we couldn't. And you know we're always broke. So as soon as we get that twenty-five dollar donation back, we will bring back art and music to the show. Now you're listening to some of that music right now, of course, um, playing. And this is all done by me. You can download this from SoundCloud for free, use it on your stream and your YouTube, but you need to follow the standard quid pro quo protocols. Uh, you know, personally, you should get in touch with me because I have a lot more music and it's always changing. I can also do personal stuff, but also, um, you know, put a link down to either the Twitch or the SoundCloud. The SoundCloud has links to the Twitch, so 
I don't really mind. We're making up a really nice little interactive button that you can just copy and put down below your channel, add the link so people can just hit that button. Uh, it's really the best way to go. Uh, other big Week in Geek news for uh, the channel itself, as well as all streamers you should check out, hit that subscribe button right there on the screen. Go right down below the show and hit it. It's a big orange, mm, kind of orange you want to subscribe. That's a Game Wisp. Now, if you don't know what Game Wisp is, Game Wisp is a really nice website that allows streamers to register with them and log onto their show and basically set up their own subscription fee. Now, they take a dollar a percentage and so you can have a five dollar donation three dollar subscription i mean five dollar subscription ten twenty five fifty hundred whatever you want and then you give people more depending on you know what they donated or uh, subscribe um this is a great thing to do because you can have it be very interactive and we're working on it this is brand new uh for us so we're just getting into it we'll let you guys know how it works and more if you have it and you use it and you like it and you want some feedback come on in uh, we can get you on a live q a of course uh, through our Discord chats. Um, the only piece of artwork right now I'm still working on is a little geek and thing. I just can't get the letters to read well when I make it a transparency, but we'll work on it. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, PS4 4K. Uh, I'm just calling it the PS4 K. I'm not going to call it the PS4 4K. Uh, this, is, of course, is what I've been waiting for, why I told people I wasn't going to get first-generation PlayStation 4 or even the new bigger hard drive, or even the Spring's faster processor and bigger hard drive. I'm not, I, I don't want it. I wanted what was coming and what I knew it was coming. If it doesn't come out by E3, at E3, for Christmas season, you know what, if I gotta fucking wait till next fall to get on the PS4, that is okay. Because every one of you PS4 people are gonna have to go sell yours back and buy a new PS4K. If you're really that, or listen to people going, "Oh, you're using the PS4 One or 2K or whatever it is." Oh, you're fucking stupid. Patience, you know. Um, and in the meantime, that gives us all year to finish our PS3 uh -huh, and uh, work on the PC upgrades. So, um, on that front, we are definitely growing our PC gaming. Thank you, AJ Fitz Gaming, once again for the division. Unfortunately, we cannot play the division. Uh, our graphics card it, and it, our potato computers can't do it. It's funny, I can play and stream, you know, Fallout and DayZ, even at like 20, 25, 30 frames or lowest settings or something, uh, and play them even a little higher if I'm not streaming because of the extra usage. But uh, the division just can't even play past six frames per second. But I've known for a long time we need a RAM upgrade and we need a graphics card upgrade. Uh, good news is we filled out our uh, sponsorship NVIDIA and sponsorship AMD and some other things. And we're just really hoping to really, like I said, give back to the community and hopefully it'll all trickle back down like on our vlog. Check out our vlog on YouTube, of course. Uh, and later this will be on YouTube as well as a little intro. Uh, other than that, yeah, two years. Um, now, April 1st is my official two year. That was like my first PlayStation 3 Grand Theft Auto everything's working at, at a nicer smoother route even though the show evolves constantly graphics art layout stuff like that um two years yeah uh part-time casual just grinding away at it we're hoping this year to be more focused and, and work on it and get it going on other than that i really can't think of anything to say hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow for our live bungee event we'll be uh hosting and watching the, the Bungie live event here on Twitch TV. Make sure that you guys go over to Bungie and hit the follow button here on their Twitch TV channels, Twitters, YouTubes, and all that good stuff, as well as Destiny the Game when they have their separates. Um, and then join us tomorrow as we go back in to Destiny here on the PlayStation 3 with the Guardian Alliance and the Dragons of the Black, as we'll uh, be going back in and just kind of casually getting back into it. Uh, we'll be balancing that out with the uh, DLC here on Fallout. Now, before we get into Fallout, we're going to talk about a little tragedy that hit us over our two weeks off. Um, our character had 420 hours. We were all excited about it. We're like, yeah, 420. Woo, let's do it. And uh, it just... I started to have glitches popping up in the game. Now, we all know the Bethesda games, the Fallout games, Skyrim games, PC or otherwise can be very glitchy, especially if you're using command lines on the PC mixed with mods. 
So it's no surprise to me that I started the season. Now I did get the Vault 11, 111 Black Bubble of Death, which is not a mod command console. PS4, Xbox One, and PC all get it. We're hoping that <coughs> future patches will fix it because it's just something that can't be patched and fixed. Until then, people, I see all these people on the computer saying, like, I can't get back in, trying to do all these commandos. Just type, place at me the gun. Everyone's just trying to get the gun because they finally got their master lock. Just place the gun in your inventory. Command code cocksmoke and go to the, <laughs> the room with it. <laughs> and, uh, now, if you're on the Xbox, unfortunately, PS4, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait for the patch. Um, but to be honest, I'll tell you right now, the gun's fun, but don't you're not going to be using it that much uh, especially on console because you're going to run out of ammo on it like the alien blaster <laughs> uh, pretty fast uh other than that so our character it just things were going wrong right um and there was multiple things man uh, my follower my girl uh kate she just quit walking she was technically still following me and i tried everything command lines resurrect respawn her on me and, and stuff like that and even when i respawned a brand new one and lost all of her armor you know and stuff even though i should have taken it off uh she still wouldn't walk um and there was other glitches popping up with followers like i couldn't get dog meat to follow me after that so i had to get <sighs> mccready to follow me and then like dog meat wanted it was just so much thing things just one after another kind of popping up and here's why and this is you know i'm very upfront with it is i use command codes first time ever playing a Bethesda game on pc i was having fun with that making little movies and stuff um lots of mods first time modding and deleting mods after making them and then very you know that first bethesda skyrim fallout playthrough you always do things a little slop you know you end up you know, i ended up with like huge residential places with like just sloppy builds and lots of stuff and like I said, mods being deleted after building stuff. And it doesn't surprise me that it got corrupted. The second part of the reason I had to redo it is a lot of the Bethesda patches, you know, Skyrim had one, uh, a big one. I remember about three months after it came out that it basically said, if you want to feel this patch's effects, you need to make a new character. I really saw that after I made a new character throughout their patches and DLCs on Fallout 4 here on the PC, that I have seen that. And so this new character, not only do I feel like the, the cleanup effects of the patches, and of course I am on the beta program, so I'm beta testing the patch that console players or non-beta sponsor uh, participants. You know, it's a little different, plus 110 mods. But things seem to be running very smooth. Now I haven't tried to stream it, which of course hits my GPU, CPU. Uh, I will have to doll down my graphics from high to mediums and lows and stuff like that. Um, but we'll play around with that here in just a minute. Uh, so I had to make my character over, and I thought, hey, I can just play my girl character. But then I thought about the patches and the effects of the patches, and I was like, you know what? I need to start her over too. She's only two hours in, barely walked to Diamond City, you know, just did that opening sequence. I won't really feel bad if I remake her. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I, so I remade my, my male, my character, and I thought, hey, you know, why can't I use this? Why can't I play with this and put this as, like, you know, fan fiction story and work it? How, how can I work it? As everyone knows, all my Bethesda characters have bloodline through time and space, and they all connect and stuff like that. So I thought, hmm, how can I do this? So my character, you know, losing his family, nuclear war, depression. Now things are falling apart in the post pop world. His son's older than him, and he just doesn't really feel what he's jiving, and... You know, his followers aren't following him, and now the vault's like, he can't even go back and see his dead wife, and it's just too much for him, you know? So, he goes to end it, and, you know, he attempts suicide. And he puts the alien blaster to his head, and he puts a bunch of chems in his junk, and he just... And he wakes up. He wakes up in pre-war, pre-bomb... There's his wife, there's his kid, weirdly black, uh, Codsworth and everything pristine. And he's like, what the fuck? But he's still scarred and all this stuff, you know, and he still has the memories of what happened and everything that happened. And, you know, he doesn't know what's going on and he feels like he's in hell because he has to relive it and he can't change any of it. Well, not all of it. 
So that's that's where I went with it. And so I made the character again, and we started the tutorial. We went through it. We got to the vault. Uh, went all the way into the, the, the chamber. And then when I came out, I command-lined myself to level 103 again, right back to where I was. Um, the reason I want to cover this, even though it's on the vlog, and I'm just going to cover it one time this week, is, you know, uh, I think it, it works. It's really good. And, you know, you can roll with it. Now, a lot of people go, oh, my God, you're cheating, you know, things like that. But the fact is, I don't want to have to redo all that stuff. I kind of wanted to have to redo all that stuff, but I really didn't want to have to redo all that stuff. I want to rebuild all my settlements and do it a little cleaner and nicer and better and everything. Like, not just have, I literally just have thousands and thousands of of things stockpiled in, in chests, this hoard and hoard, you know. And so this time, that's what I did. Um, uh, I went to the Coxmook room and I grabbed all the magazines because I, I had found all those, and I grabbed all the bobbleheads because I had found all those, and, and that was it. And now a lot of people go, wow, oh my god, that's so much cheating, you know, you're not really starting out weak. But the fact is, that's not the point, you know, it was an unfortunate crash. But originally, on my first character, I'd use a trick where you could just throw special books out and pick them up again and, and get the things. So I filled up my key specials from like four or five all the way to ten. You know, going across, that's, you know, a good almost 25, 30 points that I had manipulated and given me 30 more skills down below. This time I didn't do that. I just went to level 103, gave me 103 skill points, and I had to put them all back to ten losing and i feeling it right away i'm like oh you know i've leveled up like one or two times and grabbed one back but i'm like oh i don't have like my grenade arc and i don't have you know three critical stock piled up and so there's a little bite on that a more real playthrough and you know just the knowledge of what kind of to do and not to do so uh, on the settlement side and so it's, it's actually working out really nice and you know for this kind of freebie redo caused by glitch and not wanting to, I do have to go through and do all the story missions again, and all the little submissions again, and start all the followers again, stuff like that. But you know what? I'm okay with that. And you know, that little thing, that little tweak of giving my levels back up really, I think, is going to uh, keep it from being just completely, ah! And then, you know, with Automatron coming out, you know, look, I, I also got the dog and plays dog meat, you know, mod and things. There's a lot of options for new playthroughs coming out. Um, but without further ado, we are going to get that going here in just a sec. Let's go ahead and get that on there. Let's see. Let me cover my to-do list here. Check, check, check a check. -a. It's been a bit since I ran out. Now, uh, yeah, um... Let's see. Oh, yeah. I've been um, upgraded and all that jazz on the Old World Radio. And so, if you guys and gals want, I was thinking I would turn on the Old Radio channels here on Fallout. The only thing is, is I know for a fact already, because we did it last time I played them, they will mute them later on the YouTube. The YouTubes. And uh, they'll even mute them here on Twitch down the road in the archives. That doesn't really bug me as much, you know. Uh, certain games are better for highlight reels and others and stuff. Uh, and there's always the option of just continuing to play uh, the music that's going right now. I think we're going to switch over to Old Way, uh, World Radio because they have a couple new ones, including the Nine Inch Nails beta channel and the synth Bobcat Goldways hosted synth channel and it's just you know what sometimes live streaming is just about the live part of it and if the music's going to be muted later then sorry people that came late to the party destiny gta those games can make some pretty massive highlights so we tend to do music that's not going to mute it later i just covered the camera here because i'm smoking um let's see let me check my list weekend geek anyone in chat have any geeky news feel free to shout out i want to thank everyone for the mass love over my two weeks off uh the friends list, the followers, the subscribers on Twitter, on YouTube, and here on Twitch have just grown, grown, grown. That's been great. Boom, 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 boom. Like the donation thing's working again. Nice. 
you need to make new donation art. Uh, as you can see down below, our, our donation goals, they do change per game. We have different layouts per game. So really, you know, there's no point in asking people for things on a different system. This is uh, this is our PC needs right now. Now, what, what our NVIDIA graphics card, if you are a geek or a nerd and you know a good graphics card, a good place to buy it, you know, you know these specs, please, please, either just talk and chat with me or, you know, personal message me because I'm looking for a really good graphics card and the fact is is I really don't know there's just so many models out there you know they just technology bumps here and they're so fast that you know I'm just curious if certain ones are good enough or just pointless need a little geek say tell um, you know, but I've noticed that a lot of games lately from the Fallout to Division and, you know, Battlefield 5 down the road, I can give you guys that, some other games, have like special extra boosted settings for NVIDIA capture cards and drivers. And it just feels like NVIDIA, it's really the way to go. Not that it's the best or the only way, but just the smart way to go. If you really have to, you know, stream and beg and, and hope and grind to get a graphics card. Um, I've got a complete crap. I got like an, I love you graphics card. You're not crap. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I love you. But <clears throat> it is what it is. <laughs> it's a $50 when you Google it on Amazon brand new. <laughs> $45. Tops. The highest price. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, and bad news really, last week in Geek News here is uh, we do not have Minecraft anymore for the PC. It was, I, I thought, kind of gifted, but it was, you know, like I said on the vlog, it's just that's a game where I need to have my own handle, my own account, and my own realm because it's really hard to manage when somebody else does it. But we do want to thank Drugs Bunny TV. There is no hard feelings whatsoever because I cannot be the dick that says, no, your little sister can't play with your big brother. That's just dick <laughs> But I don't want to be a, be a headache of like, hey, my sister wants to play, can I, you know, so. Uh, but it really is no hard feelings whatsoever. So make sure you guys go over and check out Drugs Bunny TV for donating Elder Scrolls Online. I wish he'd get it so he could play with me. But I don't think it's really his kind of game. But I kind of think it is. It, it, I think, to be honest, like I really think that where you burn out on Minecraft drugs, I really think that's, you could find the love in Elder Scrolls Online. You can craft and mine and farm and fish and sell a merchant and do all these things while you run around with me just chopping shit up. <laughs> all right. All right. I don't hear anyone chiming out in chat. Discord chat looks quiet as well. So I think we will cue as soon as this song is done in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go back to the vlog screen really quick. Uh, we'll, we'll queue up Fallout here. Uh, I'll finish my smoke here and we'll Q&A. Uh, make sure you guys go over and check out, of course, K-Way Skulls, Prototype Ravine, Sir Meow Face, Zis Miss, AJ Fitzgaming, and the Twisted Sigma, Drugs Bunny TV, and, of course, Geekly Gaming has their own channel, which is totally underused. We just kind of use it as a mod um, in our chat. But uh, we will be working on getting that growing, art, and more. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not going to have you guys watch me sit and smoke on the bong. <laughs> I don't vape, which is like technically okay to show. That shit's whack. <clears throat> Weekzilla. Uh, we were trying to get a new song out last night. Oh, fuck my slip. Uh, but we didn't get it done. We were watching Daredevil Season 2 and, and stuff, and we tried to work on it, but we just weren't feeling it. Uh, hopefully we'll get it out tomorrow. Boom, 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 boom. So tomorrow, the Bungie event, I believe, I believe, is 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be on uh, either before that, just waiting, or we'll be on right, right before it starts. Uh, we'll double check the times, tweet those out, and go out over those after the break today. A 
We actually have to be on a little early because we're about to set up the multi-streamer chat. Don't forget, folks, you don't have to do much to get on the Discord chat other than hit the follow button and be a great viewer. But if you want to speed right into it, hit the sub button. I'm excited about this DLC. If anyone's interested, we could run over to the desktop here on the show and show people off our mods that we're using. But, like I said, that requires people to chat. Yeah, I gotta work on the geekasm one again. Option. All right, hopefully. all just work smooth and still have all the sometimes folks it's just interesting you know like you don't play for a while and then like the settings just change like today I, I actually went on the air and had to restart uh, the stream key had changed Yeah, 17 hours, 100 slow, 100 <laughs> Yeah, we're using a lot of new interesting mods. We deleted some old mods and turned off some ones we weren't using anymore. Um, kind of clean up our mods. You know, we don't want to have a shit ton. We want to... Nice. Alright, so one of them is uh, dog meat backpacks, bunkers, hidden bunkers, and mannequins, tons of stuff. This is my new little, uh, this is my man pad. Let's go ahead and get some of the new music up. So we're going to start out with a new synth station. I want some fucking beer! Ah! Where's my goddamn beer at? I 
can't find trash can Carla anywhere. Where is she? She's probably out here at Sanctuary. <laughs> Now we are beta patch testing, folks, so God knows what. We've had some interesting things we, <laughs> we've had to work it through. They put volumes in on these now. No wonder that shit was so loud the other day. <laughs> oh my god. It's so loud. Oh. Let's see what kind of saves I have going here. I can't wait till the new survival mode comes out. Another one we're using is personal pack Brahmins. But I'm going to leave mine here right now because they're kind of a chore. Thank you. Oh, it's I like didn't. I can finally think straight. Yeah. What's up? So, you know, I'm definitely making different choices this time, better choices this time. But this isn't about showing off my sanctuaries and builds and stuff. There's not that much this time to show off. Although, like I said, I, I am trying to make more refined. But we'll come back during the day. You're tight. I did work on this last night. This is going to be like the plaza. It's going to be like shops, utility, and entertainment. I built it all at the beginning this time. Instead of deeper in. Last time I built it around the corner. That's my pack Brahmin. I'm just going to leave it there. I want to figure out why my spotlights never stay on. I need to figure that out. Do I need to put them all through a computer or some shit? The man with a pan, Mr. Neon, I'll play in Borderlands the pre-sequel. I wonder if he's going to be streaming anytime soon. So this will be like dance, entertainment, pool hall. And then, where's the stairs? Oh wait, this is the top. Never mind. Ah, dog meat, go back down. This will be, I don't know, kitchen, work kitchen area. And then the shops. It's interesting for the fan fiction side of me too, because I'm, I don't know why these spotlights never work. What the hell? Like they turn on once and then like the next night they're not on. I don't know. Some people that shit. Uh, we're using alien blaster technology. Love it. Uh, we're also just keeping less guns, less weapons. Let me get out of the creation zone here. I love these new. These are from Dragon Ball Z. Not an anime or manga I ever liked. the eyepiece and you can set them to have like night vision bullet time tracking or this and you can even give one to dog meat my dog meat has one uh I'm, I'm using the rebel armor with one backpack last time i was using like this weird glitch where i could use like a hundred pound 800 pounds in backpack so you know this time i'm just trying to play more real uh last time i played with a lot of tim in mortality mode and god mode so this time switch that up just a little bit not going to go crazy and like mass build, like mass residence. Uh, we'll go through my weapons here really quick one time here on the show since it's my first time being back on. Uh, I just found this in uh, Jamaica Plains. Uh, this is from a mod. I usually make that a medic one. This is my favorite gun. I haven't renamed it yet, but I found that this is my favorite gun of all time right now. Like this thing will just take down anything. Like if you're worried, you just pull this off. 
you're good to go. But it is explosive damage, so you gotta watch out. I've killed myself, my pack rom, and friends made enemies. Uh, I got unlimited. I mod let's put legendary on anything, so I put unlimited on the flares on to deal with that. Grognak, but I also gave it a Grover's Blade. <laughs> uh, Lightning Buster Sword of Life Stealing. And Grover's Blade Exceptional Damage 600. <laughs> Never Ending Alien Blaster, so I don't have to deal with that. Never Ending Automatic Railway Rifle, so I don't have to deal with that. Never Ending Overcharge Improved Automatic Plasma Rifle, I actually found. And uh, uh, the Never Ending Survivor Knife with Grover's Blade, my personal little cheat cheat. My grenade replacer is a shuriken. Crossbows of the Commonwealth mod, of course. Two shot, one of my favorites. Uh, the 50 cal Barrett. I found I like uh, the two shot silence the best. Uh, I like two shot stuff. Um, and then I decided, you know, these are floating. You eventually find these and a few others. But I, instead of last time, I had like 10 or 11 auto rifles. I'm just using this one right now. Flashlight mod works. And, of course, <laughs> from New Vegas, the dusty dude brought me this. Now, of course, for fan fiction and lore friendly, I've written in this that this stuff was raided from Vault 111 and or a private stash of my wartime pre-bomb drop man cave that no one knew about. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Mechanical Menace. Before we get this going on, I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. We'll be right back. Totally had to go to the bathroom. It was one of those ones where you didn't know, and then you do. All right, folks. Now, once again, uh, we're trying to go immersive, realistically playing games, RPG here. So you guys can sit back and watch it. We're going to try our best to just kind of stay in the, the flow of the game um, and keep the dialogue role-playing-ish. So if we get a little exuberantly crazy, don't be uh, surprised. 
Uh, but if you do talk in the chat, I will answer questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. <coughs> yes, sir. I want to think Wooden Rabbit Art Studios. Wood Rabbit Art Studios. The this is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robot. Anyways, big adventure, the homoerotic tale of two men in love at once. So one of the things we want to talk about is a lot of people take the limb damage, less limb damage, and people take, you know, power armor so they don't hurt. But if you take two items that have Acrobat, Legendary on them, it's 100% fall da limb damage or fall damage stop. So you can literally fall as far as you want. <laughs> I get to have like two leg pieces with an acrobat on it, and I can pretty much land on anything from any distance. Please play I wish I thought about that for my first 400 hours of gameplay. <laughs> It'll be interesting doing this Automatron DLC without having like done hardly any missions in this game <laughs> on this playthrough. I'm excited about that aspect too. Unfortunately, this character is not the Silver Shroud, so I do have his clothes. This has become a hot spot in this game, I like it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, I don't hit shit in baths, I need to work on that perk. <laughs> no, let's go with the new nine inch nails. Let's check this out. Thought you could hide. Remember I out. I also played in full almost Tim mode for those 400 hours. Not ashamed to say it because it was just me fucking around. Until the true survival mode comes out, I wasn't going to do like a true playthrough. Feel my soul. Don't worry, dog meat can't be hurt. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Raiders are packing some hard right nowadays.
Now, am I wrong? Is this the sword from... Is this supposed to be the sword from, like, Final Fantasy, right? It's not the sword from Berserker. I can't believe I'm doing this shit now. Survival mode takes away all the saves. You have to sleep the save. That's just gonna be wild. That's gonna be the biggest thing. I don't mind saving, like, the quick saves, like, my favorite. <laughs> but, you know, if you're gonna be a purist, you gotta be a purist. Over all the shit on my way. Nothing sneaking up on me though. Not with my eyes. Bug me? <laughs> Come on, boy. Yeah, we left that pack around. I don't know if I got shit. Cockroaches? Not worth my time. True nights, much uh, much better nights. I like the setting. It's it's surprisingly it's darker on the the stream than it is on the my, my TV screen. I don't know, why. but I like it darker on the stream more. <laughs> I like that dark. The new Nine Inch Nails Old World Radio Beta channel. Download the beta mod today from the Nexus Mod Manager. Old World Radio. Follow them on Facebook. I'm also using a really cool uh, stealth boy armor that stays invisible forever. <laughs> and it's the Dragons of the Black Feral Ghoul Removal Service at your disposal. When you need Uncle Jack gone in a jiffy, call us. We'll send one of our representatives out ASAP to take care of that ghoul problem. Today. We know they were human. We're doing them a service, putting them out of their misery. You don't want to see your Aunt Beth running around eating Johnny's brains? Come on. piece really feels more VAT friendly. Like VATS doesn't make sense without an optical interface. So to me the I only use VATS when I'm wearing it if I can help it. It is kind of a I usually don't wear anything but that Once again trying to use mods to make it more immersive and lore friendly. That's what we're all about here on RPG gaming. Realistically playing games.
bring out the big boys. It takes like this thing is just a beast. What's great is sometimes it shoots her body way the hell. Oh shit, no, no, it's a mutt. Is it friendly? Yeah. Whew. Wait, is that the one I found earlier? Hey, boy. Are you still just wandering around? It's been ages. Hey. Oh, sex paddle. Hell yeah. It's getting foggy. I gotta check something. Somebody at my door. It's scary, man. Why's it gotta be so foggy? I don't get like a sunny night. Up, dog meat.
nose up. Keep those ears open. be the right tool for the job. Ball to big gun, huh? Take it down before the local gets close. friends did not survive the attack oh, no. thank you for assisting i was certain to meet my end here as well are you okay physically the damage is minor but i am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends it may sound strange coming from a robot but they were my family again i thank you for your efforts i know they would have thanked you as well I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? 
Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts, the false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the Mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Sorry, dog meat. Let's salvage. All right. Good start. I'm not going to rob her friends right in front of her. <laughs> They're dead corpses. I'll probably come by here plenty of times and just take what's there. I don't need these though. hostile robots today. They were pieced together with the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even beyond my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. May as well take what we Robot can. repair kit. They won't be needing those items any longer. <laughs> no duh. <laughs> Funny thing is, is this is one of the few DLCs for Fallout that I really feel the modders would have just made anyway. <laughs> it's like instantly. The story, no, but you know, all the, where'd all those other robots go? Alright, well, first things first, this feels like a power armor fucking 
I'm, you know, robots. I think I'm gonna go get my power armor. <laughs> I need to paint it anyways, so. You know what? I don't usually fast travel, and once the new survival mode is on, we can't, but I'm going to at some point. Because all I am doing is going to go grab my power armor and walk out. <laughs> I'm not even going to take the time to paint it right now. I'll do that another time. <clears throat> if you could paint all the sections at once, I would. But I, can't. I like that you can do them separate. I don't like that you have to do them separate. For you guys know, I'm usually in the RPG role, playing realistically playing games uh, here on the show. Loading screens are the best time to break character. If you're a streamer, it's also a good time to break character. <clears throat> Jesus, fuck it. Okay, that's a new one. Radiation rain. True Storms had an update, folks, so... There's going to be some new weather patterns. Wild. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep. Ugh, yeah, skip the fucking torrential acid death right now. Uh, down into my main cave. Boom, ch -ch boom, boom, ch boom, boom, ch boom, 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 Acid rain. Ugh. I need to sleep anyways. It's going to be difficult finding anything useful in this mess. This is my house. Hey. Yes. Hey, Ada. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, shit. No, wait. It's all distracting. Disabled personality? Holy That's shit. all for now. No problem. <laughs> what the fuck does it personality? Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. For about 15 hours. Because <laughs> my guy is ass tired. I looked at the time, days awake, days hours slept. I'm like, oh god, if this was a real new survival mode with eat, sleep, drink and shit, my guy would be like sleep dev crazy, malnourished, passed out. <laughs> Trying to get in the habit of, you know, I'm gonna have to get in the habit of weight management. If anything's waiting for us around here, I certainly can't hear it. kitties. Daddy's gonna have to go out on an adventure here. Yeah. You guys are gonna have to fend for yourself. This is good. I haven't got to use this power armor since I got it. Pop this cherry. Now, I have to, to be honest, I, I don't remember a lot of the choices and missions and stuff. There was quite a few. I also did, like, a crap ton of just turn and burn, you know, minute men and stuff. So I'm excited to do them again, you know. But it's really nice when you can have a fluid. But I never got to finish. I was just starting to work on the story mode again. And then it started to glitch, so, you know, it had to come. More. Drop to dodge. Acid rain anyway. Sunshine, sunshine, show me some sunshine. I 
Now these little sellers are actually a mod. You can download these, they're really nice. Now what we have noticed though is you only have one of each kind. So if you have like the fallout shelter and you build it up and then you put it down somewhere else, it moves it. Now we're not sure, we're gonna actually test this theory with a very light decoring. We don't know if you move it, if it erases what you put in it. But um, either way, it's still a really nice little add-on. Now we did get the build your own vault one, but we're wondering if that might've been some of the issues we were having. So we're being a little hesitant to just pop another one down right now. All right, so yeah, like random settlers that like want to join the town, like I've run across those more. Uh, this is our workstation. Let's see about getting this robot thing. Maybe she won't let you build one until you help her with some of the stuff. <laughs> let me just check in her special. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> Coming in pretty good. Nice. Hmm. Ooh, that's nice. So I need to get my ro robotic expert back up, huh? Okay. And that's it. So maybe I have it on level one, so next level. All right. Increased damage energy, increased carrying capacity. Huh? That's interesting. Okay. It seems pretty. Well, the farm's not much, but it's something. She's pretty well decked out here. change her too much for the first main thing. So. Oh, okay, so I'll turn left arm. No left arm. Left arm factory armor. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. <laughs> Damn, look at that. <laughs> the damage. It's like 200. Explosive minigun. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Is get like, some upgrades for her again. Wait, let's see right hand skull. 
<laughs> no, she's already got <laughs> one melee weapon. Give her a long range too. That's gonna kick some ass. Carry weights. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I was just gonna wait on that one. And there we go. This should prove interesting. I wonder what you'll build next. Oh, my power on. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Do I have a legendary set of armor on? Oh, that was really weird. I'm gonna see if I get in and out again if it doesn't. Work. It might have been a jetpack because it was my first time getting in. That power armor will provide a leg piece? Whatever. Maybe each time I get in, it's gonna give me a different piece until it's all done. Since it's a legendary, so yeah, I will. Paint job coming later. Now. So this, uh, this perk is really cool. When you zoom down the sides, it kicks in like a, a few seconds of slow motion. And then you see, even though I'm still down the sides, it kind of fades up and comes away. It's cool. You're tied to the... my pack problem? No. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Wait, I don't have
don't have a helmet on? Okay. Oh! Interesting. I think that that um, eyepiece of mine counts as a helmet. It's a mod, so it doesn't surprise me. That's, that's fine. I, I mean, I, I like it, like I said. Um, yeah. That's fine. I like that though, and I can. That's why that went away. Okay, I was all. Yeah, there it goes. No, I like that. I wonder if I can put my hat back on though now. Or like. What was my other helmet? It was a. Uh... Wait, my militia hat still on? Whoa, weird glitch. I have my hoodie and my <laughs> hat on. Weird. It was just showing it on, even though it wasn't. It's weird that you can still see the helmet hood, even though you don't have a helmet on. Alright, let's get some rated music going. Let's go with, uh... The Simps stream again. Hey, people! Saves. Okay, what do we got? Um, how are you? Well, bad fucking I don't know what I want to do with the red rocket, so I'm just leaving it blank until I truly figure out what I want. Hey, let me see you out here in the sunshine. Yeah. Mmm, we got some booty going on here. Look at that. Hey, we got some booty. Let's go kick some ass. Yeah. I haven't done power armor in a long time on the game. I got really into stealthy. Like I said, I was using that weird multiple backpacks, 500 pounds extra. I'm gonna need some more power armor just so I can survive in the survival mode. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Oh, I'm sorry, Ada. So sorry. I know what you're feeling.
No, oh, she is not stealthy. <laughs> By Grey Garden, I wonder if to say about that. True, steam packs won't work on a robot. <clears throat>
Raiders. Super Mutants and Raiders fighting the ghouls. Rust Devil. So these are new. count as a companion and be immortal. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. All right, so they take Wait, heavy robot. Oh, it's armor. Interesting. Scrounging begin anew. Servo mech swarm bot. Take it away. I'm going to use my <laughs> quick save. Come on, Ada. We're clearing these fools out. Let's go with the new nine snare. Let's try this one. You know what? No, actually, the synth really feels this right now, feels this DLC. Who's next, motherfucker? Kicking ass, taking names in the DOB. Those little red blips are going to disappear during the true new survival mode, too. some other dead body here. <laughs> Nothing stops us. We'll paint job this on the return to Sanctuary.
That looks like the new, uh... Armor from... The robots. Could have been metal, though. Yeah, the rest devils might be the only ones that have the robot stuff right now. I got really good with the jetpack. <laughs> Where the hell is he? Come on, Ada. Earn your keep. Just realized I hadn't drank any since breakfast. Just OJs and stuff. Not good. Drink your water. Kill everything that gets in the way. Make them pay, hey, 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 hey. You're listening to Synth FX. Motherfucker, you fuck with me, you die like the rest. Oh, look at all those red dots. Oh, Ada. Let's have fun. Yeah. To the synth sounds. Showing off my new toys I made on the vacay. I call it OP. Its name is Oppressive E. You ain't gonna do shit to me. Shit, no down the sights, slow motion we go. You don't got shit. Listen to me flow. You hide not scum, you die yet. Oh no, come on, critical's supposed to go through that shit. Oh, come on! That was 1%. That was good.
<laughs> Dude, why the hell do you say they're on my level when I'm on the street? They're up there. Oh yeah, never miss critical, my ass. The lightning effect works on corpses too. <laughs> I bet I can just hit it. Eventually, it's just gonna. Whoa. Come on. You want to do it again? That was cool. the bridge with the hole in it I fell through a couple of times. So. <laughs> First time crossing the bridge. And this is playthrough. Let's do it in style, shall we? Take no prisoners! Why does it keep saying they're on my level? And they're obviously not. Come on out. This is really... No sign of them now. I mean, I, I don't really use those red dots, and those are about to go away anyways. Stands in my way, it all goes down. It's just what this gun does. Nothing to say. You think I'm afraid, but I'm not. 
even in the hand, you see. Let me take it. Pwned City! Get the fuck out of here, you ain't shit. Come on, Ada, that's not the way. Am I going to get neighbor? No. But I found it, so I should at least like lock it. Alright. Oh, you're not gonna do it until I go in? Well oh, fuck it, I'm not gonna go in. <laughs> second chances. Fuck it, let's just take Swan down right now.
got what it takes. I don't think you got what it takes. You don't got what it takes. There you go, Ada. gonna go grab the legendary gear. I love how people pirate that. That gear's mine. Find anything useful? No. Matter of fact, I found too much. I was like, ooh, wait, that's fine. <laughs> Mission has been complete. Not bad. Ah, it's getting dark too. Any idea where they went? To hell. That's where they're going. Who just shot me? Seriously, just shoot me. I never looked at the map, so you were really <laughs> started walking. Alright, I can take the road around. I don't have to cross water. <coughs> Shit! Lost. Not worth a fusion core ammo. I really don't need this stuff right now. I kind of want to keep the armor from the robot, new robot armor over here. Look at me. Oh, I don't have the helmet on. Otherwise, my light not working. Target. 
See more robots for sure. Who's saying that? That's what I wanted to give her. This is really interesting. Like, who's saying that? Oh, shit. He's still bouncing away. Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> Wait, did he land in the trap? That'd be so hilarious. No. <laughs> Come on, Ada. Must be getting close. Still going. Shit. <clears throat> All right. Sadly, I gotta reboot the whole computer, so the stream's gonna come right back up. This has happened recently. This is one of the things we're working with the beta patch. Yeah. I'll try the the easy way without bringing the stream down here really quick. I doubt it. All right, we'll be right back. Five-minute break, and we'll be back up. 